What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a video to show you how I can insert a spin button like this one right here in Excel. So that way whenever you click up, um, you can have it to ink to a cell to where the number in the cell changes. Whenever you click down, you can have it linked um, to a cell where the number in the cell changes as well. So to do this, um, I'm doing this in a new sheet. First things first is you want to make sure that you have the developer tab um, on your Excel sheet. Now, this if you don't have this, you can go to File, Options, and then after this, you can go to Customize Ribbon, and on under Main Tabs on the right, you should be able to. There should be a checkbox um, un, unchecked if you don't have the Developer tab, but you can check that this checkbox right here and then click OK, and you should have the developer tab. Now, to insert the spin button, go just under the controls grouping, click insert, and then for this example, we're going to do form controls as well as activist X controls. For form controls, we're going to click this little box right here, um, and we're going to just click, click it, and drag. You can have it be whatever shape or size you want it to be. Um, let's use this for example. And the, the key powerful um, with this is being able to either link it to a macro or link it to a cell. So you can right click and then you can assign, assign a macro. So you can have this link to macro and have the macro controlled based on this, or you can link it to a cell. So you can do that, you can do format control. And then under the um, right most area, you can have under the control, you can have the current value set, the minimum value, the maximum value, incremental change, and the cell linking. Where, where for the cell linking, you're just going to want to click this and then equals a single cell. Click OK. Now, whenever I click up, this cell moves up by one. And whenever I move, click down, this cell moves down. Um, you can also adjust the, you know, it's also some adjustments. I just say you only want it to go up to 500 instead of 30,000. And you want the current value to be 50 and the minimum value to be 20 and the incremental change to be by 10. Just kind of show you how you can have some flexibility with this. Now, every time I click up, it goes up by 10. Click down, it goes down by 10. Um, you can even hold and is where you want it to be. So there are also some other options that you can use to edit this. So you can right click again, format control. For example, you can adjust the size um, by either just dragging or you can use these arrows and you can even lock the, lock the aspect ratio. So that way, you know, by locking the aspect ratio, whenever you like drag the little corners, it doesn't change um, in like widths. It just kind of made the same ratio, it maintains the same ratio of the width to the length. So, some more options. Protection, you can have it locked, or you have it unlocked. So, properties, you can have it move and size with the cells. Move but don't don't size the cells, or don't move or don't size with cells. Um, and you can have the object printed or not printed. And you can also add alternative text. Text. So if something is looking, if someone is looking at this um, Excel sheet, and they um, ha and they might have some visual impairments, then you can make the Excel sheet more accessible, so that way the text and description of the object um, will be read to them. Will be read to them. When you're looking at the Excel sheet. I'm gonna already kind of walk through the controls. Um, so it's some things you can do with that. You can also edit 3D shading to kind of change the look. So as you can see, I unclick 3D shading and it blends into the uh, sheet a little bit differently. And then format control, bringing back the 3D shading. And unfortunately, there's not really as many highlighting, um, cap cap there's not really many highlighting or color changing capabilities as I feel like a lot of people would um, want to see, um, or at least um, capabilities that are like very easy to um, edit. You can't, you can't change these in VBA, but not as much um, in just like normal Excel. So that's it though. Hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you for watching.
Have a great day.